Hey guys, Canadian Simmer here with you today, bringing you a first video in my new series, Let's Build New Crest. So today we're starting off with a family home, and the community that I'm building first is going to be like a suburban kind of community, uh, like what you see in a typical kind of North American suburban area, suburbia I guess. Um, trying out the new custom room tool, it's actually... It's kind of weird to get used to because you're supposed to like double click after you build your wall and you're so used to just like drag and click and it's all good so um, but yeah just getting the shape of the house down and this house is well a large house only two bedrooms and it's like a one and a half bath is how we would categorize it because the bathroom in the main living area is just the toilet and sink so they call it the half bath uh, working on my roofing I'm not <laughs> I'm not the best roofer in the world uh, it's not my strong point at all but I think I can see an improvement in my roofing like I'm getting better at understanding how the pieces fit on uh, different shaped rooms and size rooms a bit better uh, finding windows, I thought, you know, going with kind of the stereotypical shuttered windows of a more classic suburban area. I wanted to put in like a bay window. I'm a fan of bay windows. I would love to have a bay window in my house. I would totally sit in it and just read books while the sun just like warms me, but I don't have one. Uh, however, that window doesn't stick around. It just didn't look like it fit too much. I'm trying not to make my houses too symmetrical either in shape and in how I do the windows. I and I notice lately I do everything kind of in threes. There's always like three of this and three of that. And <laughs> this house is no exception. And I, I am trying to push myself to not be quite as symmetrical about it. But it's kind of hard because symmetry can look so good. It looks so good. Um, just a single door to get into the house. Uh, yeah, so the thing about this house, I'm putting in the rooms upstairs right now. Changing that, not that one. That little room there is the half bath. So this house is actually going to be, <clears throat> I should say, three levels. The basement being your living uh, room. I guess or rec kind of area and uh, up the ground floor is your two bedrooms and your full bathroom and then the upstairs is the kitchen dining and an office so yeah just getting it all figured out do, do, do stairs get my stairs in so this here is gonna be the master bedroom that I just put the wall up on there that weird room in the back here that's gonna be the I guess other room whether it's for a child or teen I tried to leave it as generic as possible one thing I will say is I tried really hard to save periodically throughout building this home <laughs> but when I got to a certain point I kind of was like oh I'm so close it'll be fine and of course <clears throat> Sorry, of course my um, game crashed. <laughs> when I reopened it, I had, was it one floor? Whole floor for sure was completely gone. Everything I'd done was gone and I was frustrated about that. So I tried to put everything back as much as I can. And you'll see the difference in a few things between what you see now and the photos at the end. Uh, so glass double doors to get onto the balconies and verandas. I really liked those. Um, I just thought they went well. They're classic looking. I guess they'll call them French doors, really, is what they are. At least that's what we call them. Uh, so the first bathroom here, <clears throat> sorry, as I said, just a toilet and a sink. <clears throat> Oh goodness, I just woke up, so 
<laughs> my voice is a little <clears throat> weird right now. Um, what did I do in this bathroom again? Did I, I thought I didn't go with white floors. What did I do? What did I do? I don't remember now. Mm. I built this house and then another home right after it, so I can't quite recall. Yeah, okay. So I, I'm also trying to use items and wallpapers that I haven't really used yet in The Sims 4. Because there is a lot of stuff there. It's just... It's just hard to sometimes use it because it's not... Like, it's almost what you're looking for, but not quite. So I'm starting to kind of just say, hey, I'll just, I'll just go with it. <laughs> Let's just do it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Final touches on this bathroom. Uh, one thing too you'll notice between my old speed builds and these ones is I'm trying to be a little more methodical in how I'm putting things together. So actually, you know, completing a room <laughs> before moving on the next one. Because before I would kind of build the walls and then I kind of put a few things down and then I kind of do the, all the flooring in the house and then I go back and kind of do more in one room and then I go to another room and then I go back and put in the clutter and stuff. And I started getting confused myself and I was leaving things out of rooms so um, I'm trying really hard to be like just think of the kitchen right now and don't like when you get to the living area worry about it then. Anyways this kitchen here a uh, little L shape there and uh, yeah along because I didn't really want the windows uh, that are above the counters to be between counters and cupboards uh, my house when the cupboards are on the wall like it's just wall behind it uh, when there's a window there's no cupboards above it so I thought it would be nice to put cupboards instead like holding the dishes along the other edge and it just makes the kitchen, a, I don't know, seem bigger because I got rid of the table from there too um, and just put in more of a formal kind of dining area. The wood on the railing I don't think matches the fences so I was trying to find something as close as I could get. I'm not sure if it's supposed to match with ones that are like brown and white which I'm like no we're going all wood or all white we're not doing this weird combo thing so yeah this here is the office um, the kitchen was really dark wood so I wanted to make the office very light because I knew the dining area once I got there would probably go with the kitchen and be very dark so I needed to put something lighter up stairs so I went with a kind of off-white wood there. The office was too small, I was finding, for all the things I wanted to put in it. Which is fine, because that was a massive dining room area. This will get a little readjusting, there we go. Um, yeah, it was, I think you would have, yeah, you would have seen that massive bookshelf that came with Get to Work. It's really pretty, but it's, it's so big that I'm not sure it would fit in most office spaces, especially not one this weirdly shaped. So, yeah, figuring out the lighting in here. <clears throat> that lamp is really cool, but I never really find anywhere to use it, so I was finally like, we're putting it in this office space. Um, it's just, I don't know. I almost feel like I should do like a bachelor pad or something and use all the cool lights that I don't usually get to use. I really wanted that file folder for the test, so I was like, yeah, we're, we're putting on that massive sheet. Plants, the plants did not want to go behind the computer, and that is one thing. The computer disappeared when my game crashed because of the picture frame there, which was placed there with move objects. Um, and I didn't realize until I had already completed the build and uploaded it to the gallery that the computer was missing. So there is no computer in this house. And, uh, I had a 
total moment while building this house too. Um, you won't get to see it because my game crashed and I just was like, I'm not re-recording me rebuilding, not rebuilding, but redecorating these rooms. Like everybody's already seen it. And recording while building does kind of lag my game a little bit. Uh, my laptop just can't quite run as efficiently with the game running while I'm re also trying to record what's going on. So, um, I didn't do that, but when I did do, while I wasn't recording, is I did some landscaping, which takes me quite a while <laughs> to admit. I am a slow builder, but I'm getting better in my, like, total film footage time, like if you were watching in real time, is getting shorter, um, though it's still quite lengthy. Um, this is at five times speed that we're watching right now, so. But anyways, oh jeez, I'm all over the place. <laughs> when I went back to fix up the, or redecorate all the rooms, I ended up adding just a little bit of foundation and I was like, oh, it's just one step, it'll be fine, the Sims can get in the house still. I uploaded it to the gallery and then I moved in my sim so I could get the screenshots and she couldn't get in the house. So I was like, what's going on? And I kept playing around with stuff, I was like, why can't you get into this room, what's going on? No, she couldn't get into the house. Turns out you have to put the stairs on and I had a total derby moment there and didn't <laughs> didn't think about that so I re-uploaded the house to uh, the gallery with stairs on the foundation uh, or the step I should say to the foundation so that you can actually get in the house so <laughs> I apologize for anyone that has already downloaded the original version. There is no stair for your sim to get in the house. So if you've downloaded it and you don't know why your sim can get, can't get in, you need to add stairs. Um, so the roof came through <laughs> the room and I couldn't figure out what was going on. It wasn't there, now it is. I started rebuilding it. I was getting frustrated because I know fencing can cause this problem. I was like, well, I took the railing out. Yeah, it turns out it was that little get to work fencing that I put in between the hardwood and like the kitchen stone. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but in my house, between the kitchen and the carpet in my living space, there's like a cap almost, like on the carpeting so it doesn't fray, it caps it off. So I thought that would be a nice little detail, but because it messed up the roof, we got rid of it. <laughs> Putting in some lights now and filling out the bar a little bit. I, oh yeah, turning that off, a cheat off, just to make sure that the bar is usable. Your sins can get behind it. Throwing up some artwork now. Just filling out the house. Um, I tried to use lots of plant life um, just to make it feel more homey and natural now this I spent a lot of time on I really wanted a mat um, I guess that's what I call it anyways but like a rug at the sink but I could not find one that just fit or looked nice and I tried all kinds of things I tried laying these circle ones I just wasn't feeling it just wasn't and then I covered it right up I don't know what I was thinking I was just getting so desperate to have a rug there and I finally was like okay I feel like something's missing from that kitchen but I can't figure out what it is um they didn't really want an island in there but yeah again go uh, I said I was trying not to jump back and forth between rooms but I do come back to the office because I was putting in the rugs and was like oh right the office doesn't have a rug it's a nice little detail. And then putting in some plant life to uh, my recording stopped at that point. Uh, or I should say I stopped recording at that point. That's why there was that weird little jump. Uh, I had to go get the door. So I did. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, just giving it those little touches that make it feel like a home. 
little plant life. I do like potted plants, they're really nice. In The Sims, I like them, and in real life, I should say too. Okay, so finishing up the upstairs with the patio here. Uh, this patio has a table with four chairs and a barbecue, nothing too fancy or over the top. I, I see this more as kind of like an upper middle class maybe kind of house. It's big, but it's on a really small lot. Um, which may seem weird, people may think, but it's 2015 by lot, you should be putting a starter home there. Um, where So I'm in the process of getting ready to move. And where I'm moving to, there are all these gorgeous homes that are really big, but they have like no yard space. Um, I don't know really what's up with that, but that's just kind of what I've like. I've been looking at homes and stuff, and that's what I've been seeing a lot lately. So when I first picked this lot, I had the intention of doing a starter home, and then when I started doing the layout, I was like, oh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make this gorgeous family home on this tiny lot. So the flooring there was being weird. The, there's like a section where the floorboards were going vertical while the rest of them were all going horizontal and the vertical ones wouldn't change. So I ended up having to find some kind of flooring that would. I really, yeah, I wanted a wood flooring and that would actually go all in the same direction. This room is the second bedroom. Um, just popped up to the other floor to grab the right hardwood. This room I tried to keep pretty generic, so it could be either for boys or girls, uh, adults, it could be for teens or children. Um, and I tried to keep it really generic so that you could fill it with things that your sim's interested in, whether it be like a guitar because they're musical, or um, like the sports equipment, um, clutter if they're an active sim. I didn't want to fill it up too much, though I did put some pot plants quite a few actually. <laughs> eh, they're generic enough. Um, yeah. So, I can't remember. I know that everything from the dressers disappeared. All the stuff I put on top of the dressers. And I just I wasn't bothered to put them all back. I'm sorry about that, but I spent so much time building this house already and then I just finished building the other house and... I, when I noticed everything was missing off the dressers, I was like, oh, I forgot about the clutter, and I, yeah. It was late at night at that point, and I was like, I need to go to bed, so everyone's gonna get a nice blank slate to put clutter that, you know, personalizes the room for their sims instead. Though that was my initial goal, not to make it too, <clears throat> too personal, like for a specific kind of sim. <clears throat> Now finding a rug to go in this room was actually a bit of a pain because it's a weird shape. But the bed fit in there so perfectly. I was like, good, this actually works. Because the only other option was to make this the bathroom. <laughs> and I really didn't want to. But there goes all the pot plants. And I know for a fact that the one on the right on its own disappears and it doesn't come back. <laughs> Master bedroom, very neutral colors just very soft tones and I did this because I knew I wanted to make the entryway very vibrant so <clears throat> that other room's very dark this one's very light and the entryway is very vibrant so it just all the rooms have their own kind of little personality I guess um, <clears throat> and I don't, I've always grown up my whole life like my parents always had very neutral colored um, bedrooms too so that probably plays into why I always tend to make my master bedrooms look like that um, we build off what we know usually so yeah but I am putting up some colorful artwork trying to just give it a little bit of something and I do throw in <clears throat> Sorry, a touch of blue, uh, which you'll see here with the rug, and the curtains will go with that also. 
lots of windows. The house I currently live in has lots of windows and lots of big windows, so everything's really bright. Um, like with natural light. We don't have tons of actual lighting fixtures in our house, but we have lots of windows. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Going through, lighting up the halls. Yeah. Doo -doo. There's the red, the nice vibrant red. I really liked that. Um, I found it while I was trying to decorate the other bedroom there and I just it's like you know what I'm gonna put this in the house somewhere and it ended up in the hall uh, or entryway I guess um, this bathroom I really wanted to put that like spa jacuzzi tub I've yet to use it I really wanted to put it in this build and it just it took up too much space for the way that this bathroom is designed it just and to put two counters like one with a sink and one with the soap on it it just looked weird like like this is essentially what it ends up like but it just looked weird to me having that so close to the counter I did not like that at all um, again trying to use more tile and, and and colors that I don't use or designs I don't usually use um, the floor oh, drove me nuts. The tile on the floor doesn't like exactly match up with the lines of the tiles on the walls. Uh, so I got it as close as I could. So I replaced it because it was feeling more like a classic home. So I replaced that big tub with like a clawfoot one. It works. It goes well with it. And it added black into the bathroom so I thought since the bathroom seems so white I'm going to add in some darker colors with the black and hints of gold um yeah ba -ba -ba. adding the medicine cabinet and then once oh yeah throwing in some bath mats here these actually fit in I'm so happy about that picky with lighting everything up, throw in some lights, and then we're gonna head, <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, downstairs. Oh, that's the other thing. When I went to redo the house, I totally, f or not the house, but the rooms that lost all, everything, um, I think the, the, this entertainment area, I believe it gets a little bit of a color different, differentiation, um, you guys will see that in the yeah it does you guys will see that in the uh, photos at the end and I did not re <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, I didn't do any decorating in the entryway upstairs I thought I had so I just went through and did them so there's no video footage of that either and I apologize it is what it is at the end of the day, but you guys will get to enjoy it if you choose to download this home. Uh, I did put in a piano. Uh, I just needed something to fill in that area. And because I already had the ex exercise equipment kind of off to the side, um, I thought, you know, let's put something musical there. Um, yeah, so that my game crashed there. So now we're into the pictures. So going around the outside. So like you'll see some of the ponded plants and stuff down here now. So that's leading outwards and that's the front door, the stairwell area. Do, do, do. This is the mat, the main bathroom on the main, on the ground floor. And then we'll head into that room. Yeah, you'll see those plants made up, but nothing else <laughs> did. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video in the home. Uh, you can place it in Newcrest or Oasis Springs uh, or even Willow Creek, wherever you would like. Uh, yeah, you'll see it's a bit lighter down there, the furniture, threw in some rugs. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And yeah, that's it for today. So I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.